If you're over 60 and you're not sure why the heck nobody is focusing on you when it comes to exercise, then watch this video. <laughs> What's going on guys, Tyler here today, and this is a cool video, I really like this question, so I wanted to sit down and make it a little bit more personal, I brought my clipboard to do it justice too. Uh, so this question is from my man, Michael Copeland, a fellow Garage Warrior, he said, given that the 60 plus age group is the fastest growing sector in the western world, why is so little good training on the internet directed towards them? They are generally more able to pay and use for such information after all. That's a great question, Michael. I really like it, and that's why I wanted to get, like I said, down and deep right here. The reason why most people aren't targeting um, the elderly, the older communities, is because they don't know enough about training in order to actually help someone, okay? So most trainers go through their, you know, whatever training certification, and then what eventually happens is they simply uh, stop learning. They just have their set method of whatever it is, bodybuilding or functional training or CrossFit or sprinting, it doesn't matter. They just pick a method and they stick to it. They don't learn outside the box, right? I'm proud to say that I'm a trainer who likes to learn outside the box, to learn things from people who people wouldn't traditionally learn from. That's why I've trained with top physical therapists. That's why I've worked with old time strongmen, Cirque de Soleil, hand balancers, gone to many different types of certifications. So I can have a broad spectrum of the people I wanted to help. But let me share a little story with you. My ego gets ahead of me sometimes, and when a client comes in, sometimes I want to train them the way I want to train them. So I say, okay, obviously the best way to go is gonna be functional movements, cross training, but maybe that's not their goal. Maybe their goal is, I just wanna build muscle. And guess what, functional training, cross training stuff, yeah, you can build some muscle, but it's not as effective as an old school bodybuilding routine. So, in a situation like that, I've had to learn how to swallow my ego and say, you know, forget about it. This person doesn't have to be able to do one-legged squats or complex chin-ups. They want to build muscle. So let's do some heavy back squats, let's do some bench presses, let's do some rows, let's do some weighted pull-ups, and let's do some deadlifts, and let's get those stronger, right? And so most trainers don't know how to target their audience, all right? And the older you get, the more risk you have for injury. And so the more complex, the more focused, the more targeted, the more specific your training has to be. And if you train someone and you're not prepared to train them, let's say you're a CrossFit guy and you have an older guy come in there and you just start running CrossFit on him. Well, guess what? That's a stupid idea. That's insane. Why would anybody do that? It's stupid, right? You have to learn how to train people appropriately for where they're at. And the sad truth, Michael, and anybody else watching this video, is that most trainers just do not know how to do that. They're not worth the ground they walk on because all they did is a weekend certification, read a few magazines, and then just started training people. And they get married to their dogma, married to their ideas of what works, and they don't think outside the box and customize their workouts, their programs, their ideologies to the actual person they're training. So, in the future, you're probably gonna see more people like myself create programs that are good for people like yourself, Michael. And I think that that's what you gotta look for, is the people who are creating those progressive movement-based training programs that are focused on stability and mobility and starting you at basic exercises and then only gradually over time moving you towards more challenging high-intensity exercises. So, that's my take on your question. Don't listen to those namby-pamby fools of the gym and uh, definitely don't buy into a bunch of those online programs that just feed you the same old bullshit over and over again. All right, if you guys dig this video, join the Garage Warrior YouTube channel by clicking that little link right there and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, all right? We'll catch you next time.